What is up guys, Ultimate Debate, back today with a video I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, it's not like a huge deal, but I just wanted to show you guys something real cool. If you have an Apple TV, um, maybe you're like curious or you're wondering, can I do screenshots? Can I screen record? If so, how can I do that? And so today I just want to show real quick uh, proof first, and then I'll go into the actual recording of the screen and what you need to do that. So a little proof right here, this is the home screen. Um, we'll do the Siri function. Bring up the ESPN app. All right, so I do have an app called ESPN. I just downloaded it. I guess maybe since I haven't opened it, it's freaking out. This is in fact the Apple TV. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to show that off or show that first. So that way you, I guess, believe me. Um, so this isn't like a, a gimme or like a, uh, a bait title or anything trying to get likes but this is actually the, the apple tv home screen um, and so real quick let's go ahead and i'm going to show you how to do it on the mac side i have a macbook pro 2012 i'm going to show you um how to do that now okay so to do the screen recording for the apple tv you have to go to quicktime um, up here and you click new movie recording that will bring up uh, your camera normally but I have it selected to Apple TV so you click Apple TV make sure the microphone is not on Apple TV because there's no audio coming from there unless there's like a video game sound effect something um, if you want to be able to speak in the video make sure you're on Apple TV you have some type of external audio um, and then you just hit record and that's that's it y'all okay so that's that um, and then you can save if you want by hitting the X I don't want to but for this, I want to show you how to screenshot also. Um, it's a little bit more difficult. Actually, it's very difficult. Not really ideal. Um, really, it's just for demonstration purposes. But what you need is Xcode, the app. Um, you can get it on the App Store. It's made by Apple. Open the app. And there you go. And when you're in the app, it'll say Xcode. You go over here to Window, Devices, and then select Apple TV. It'll show all the specs right here, and then you can buy logs and take screenshot. So you take the screenshot, and then let's go ahead and hide this. So that way we have a clear view of the desktop. And right here you can see we have the screenshot on screenshot we just took. So then from there you can message it, email, airdrop, whatever, or you can save it on to blah blah blah. And there you go, you have a screenshot. Um, so like I said, not really ideal. Um, not really cool that you have to have a um, an extra app. It's not third party, luckily, um, but you have to have an extra app to do it. It's a little bit cumbersome, um, and also it has to be connected directly to a computer. I wish they would implement kind of some kind of like two button press at the same time to take a screenshot, maybe send it to your phone or device, or to your iCloud library, photo library. It'd be nice to see something like that instead of this, just because it's so much more work. Um, and you never know when you might want to actually see something like a screenshot or take a screenshot on your Apple TV. Um, so yeah, so this is just a real quick how to screenshot, how to record from your Apple TV. I really hope this helped guys. So thanks for watching guys. I have some more videos coming up soon. I had some that I just released in the last two days that I'm pretty excited about. I had a Slither video, or I have a Slither video coming pretty soon. That I'm really excited about um, and I had another video I'll link it I forgot what it's about but it's great you should go check it out um, but yeah this is just something fun I wanted to do check out my website to get connected on social media and everything else giveaway at 100 subscribers y'all are awesome thanks for watching peace